Hi honeys, it's Michelle. I just got back from the Dollar Tree and I wanted to show you what I got. I'm drinking my coffee as you can see. <laughs> I do actually love this mug though. Um, it's got Wednesday on it and then on the back it says on Wednesdays we wear black, which I just think is so adorable. And it's Wednesday when I'm filming this. <laughs> well, I got a huge surprise when I went into the Dollar Tree today. We have a $5 spot now. It says in the aisle that things are 3 to $5, and then most of them are marked. Some of them are not. So I do have a little bit of footage from that aisle if you want to see. Um, it, so it looks like they're bringing in things from here on out for the $5 spot, or is that called Dollar Tree Plus? I'm not even sure because I've been so irritated that I don't have it, that I don't even know what it's called. I've been trying to be very intentional about what I get and only getting things that I really feel like I'm going to use or I need in some way. And uh, so I didn't get any Easter decor. Um, maybe if I saw something I had to have, I would have, but I didn't. Um, the one thing I did get, it was not marked with a price, um, but it was $3.50, and that was the Sour Patch Kids Bunnies. I got these cute little um, Sour Patch Kid hearts. Nice little snack for movie night or something. And I did get this Valentine's Day card. I work in trucking. And one of the drivers that I work with was telling me about his nephew, how he's, um, I can't remember what grade he's in, but he said he was six years old or seven, six or seven. And uh, the teacher gave them this goal to try to get Valentine's cards from as many places as possible. And so this driver that's a buddy of mine asked if I would send him a Valentine's Day card. And so I am Nevada. He's trying to get all 50 states. <laughs> Super cute, right? So I'm going to be sending that out to him. And then um, I did want a few more of these signs. And um, I found this one. And just like usual, they're not made very well. I really had to look for one that wasn't all gross up here, like being torn or smashed or something. Um, the only real issue I see with it is back here. But I don't really care. I usually put these on a table or a mantle or something. The card was a dollar. The candy was, what did I say? Uh, $3.50 and then everything else that I'm showing you is $1.25. I've been wanting these for a while. I, not only do I love the way they look, but I think this would be nice for plants and um, I want to get some plants for my balcony. So I thought this, these would look really pretty in there. So apparently you just put water in them and you flip them upside down and put them in the planter and they, they look like that in there if you haven't seen them before. I just think they have this kind of nice mystical look. A Sharpie pen and a toy for Marty. He loves these, the little mouse that's in there. He loves these. So I thought he'd really have fun playing with this and trying to get in there. I didn't find everything I was looking for. I was looking for, supposedly they have these new, I think it's Arm & Hammer disinfectant wipes for the countertops and stuff. And then I wanted to get um, some more of that white vinegar that I use for the dishwasher. They were out of that. And I also wanted to get, you know, those, those little... I think I might even have one. I just don't know where. It's a little magnifying glass that lights up. I want to get one of those for the kitchen because I keep struggling with <laughs> trying to read instructions on the back of boxes and on food and stuff. Or I want to make sure there's not certain ingredients and things or whatever. I just, in the kitchen, the way the lighting is in there, even if the light's on, I don't know. I'm just not able to see it. And I thought, well, this would be perfect, a light and a magnifying glass. Um, I think I've mentioned Vivian Tries before. I love her channel, and she was reviewing one of those, and I thought, I, I need 
to find the one I have or get another one and I can't find the one I have. I'm sure once I get another one, then I'll find the one that I already have, but I don't think it's a big deal to have two magnifying glasses. And then there's this, this lady, um, I don't remember her channel name, but she um, is a house cleaner and she talks about different ways that she cleans the house. And one of the things that she showed was floorboards. She dusts them with these, you know, but at the end of the broom, you know, she puts the broom on there. I've got so many of those handles. I don't need another one, but so she dusts it with that. And then she'll put a, like a, a washcloth or a microfiber cloth over this and like kind of twirl it around here and, and put, um, a rubber band or a clip on it or whatever, just to keep it on there. And then she'll go back over it with that, with some, you know, soap and water or a cleanser on there. And that's how she gets the floorboards clean without having to like break her back. I, I'm sure I'm not alone, but ever since I reached my forties, I have been really having more back pain than I did when I was younger. <laughs> I'm trying to find all these ways to clean without having to bend over so much. I got two more of these. I use these all the time. And this one was my favorite. And it broke about, gosh, I probably got the other one six months or a year ago. I bet it was around this time last year because they're real Eastery colors and stuff. And I loved it so much. And so it just broke about a month ago. And I thought, Ugh, um, if I ever see another one, I'm going to get it. <laughs> so I did, but I got two colors this time. And I know you're thinking, well, if it broke, it's not made very well. Honestly, I wear these kind of things all the time. And I found the Dollar Tree ones, um, for the most part are made pretty well. Um, I've had some pretty expensive ones fall apart the first or second time I used them. So I, to me, if something lasts for over six months, it was made pretty well with, with how heavy my hair is and how often I wear them. If you watch my mom's channel, you know that she recommends these. And when I, when Brad and I went to see her and my stepdad for Christmas, um, I woke up one of the mornings cause you know, you're, you're eating so much during the holidays and stuff. And I just felt really like, you know, when you have gas, like or not up here, but all the way, like your whole abdomen area. And it hurt so bad. And she gave me one of these to take and it actually made the gas go away. And I thought, wow, I need to have these on hand so that if that happens again, <laughs> I can use it. Cause who wants to feel that way? It's the worst kind of pain, right? Maybe not the worst, but it's up there. I've got some more baby wipes. And I haven't seen this before. I don't know if it's new or not, but the um, Arm & Hammer Essentials Hand Soap in Tropical Mango. Um, I got this for the kitchen. Our soap is just at that point where it's almost empty. So what great timing is this, right? I love the way it smells. It actually kind of smells like peach to me, but perfect for the kitchen. I found this Tea Tree Oil and Silicic Acid Balancing Face Wash. I try to use silicic acid on my face um, or something with it in it about once a week just to, I don't really have a problem with acne, but I do get the blackheads that's on my nose and stuff. And this really helps, or not this, but silicic acid really helps with acne and blackheads. I don't know if this helps, but I will, um, I'll find out and I'll let you know at some point in an empties video. It says it doesn't have any fragrance, no fragrance added. It does smell a little bit like tea tree oil, though. That's okay, though. I wanted to get more of my eye roller stuff. Love this, and I'm almost out. Um, I decided to break down and try this. <laughs> have you seen this? The um, tinted rose lip oil. It's, it's lip balm that... It's, you remember that stuff in the 90s that we used to have that it was lipstick that was kind of like a tinted thing and it was supposed to be your ideal color for for your skin or and how did they wear that? It's supposed to be the ideal color for you. And um, it's kind of funny. A pH adapting lip balm changes with each individual creating a custom tint. 
We shall see. I already do have something on, so I don't want to put this on, but yeah, it, I don't know if those are the only colors that it comes in or not, but usually when I use these kind of things, they end up to be like a, like a fuchsia kind of color on me whenever I've tried them in the past. So that'll be fun. Just a fun electric youth feel like we're back in the nineties kind of thing just for a minute. I, I have a electric toothbrush that I use at night. And then in the morning when I brush my teeth, I use a soft children's toothbrush. Um, I have small teeth according to my dentist and I'm supposed to use soft toothbrushes because I have, I don't know, teeth that require that. <laughs> and um, so I usually get these children's ones at the grocery store and I get two for, I think it's three or four dollars. And they had three of them, which for a dollar twenty-five, that's a really good deal. Same brand that I get at the grocery store, but a much better price. And I don't care what they look like. I've had all kinds of different ones over the years. I've had Barbie. I've had, um, what was that? Bob the Builder I had for a while. I had um, different Sesame Street characters, just all kinds of stuff. Um, but... I'm doing My Little Pony this time. In the food section, um, I found a few things. Hydramate hydration support, three times the electrolytes, natural lemon lime flavor. It's got two packets in it that you put in water. So if you've tried this, let me know. And if you have any tips for using it, let me know. I just find it feels like at this time of year, Brad and I get dehydrated more because it's cold and it's it's been raining a lot lately, which is not normal for the desert. And we tend to not really want to drink cold water as much. And I thought maybe something like this, maybe the flavor would help, but at least the electrolytes would help. But it would also be great for hangovers. I was shocked at this one. I found 100% honey. This is six ounces, which isn't much less than what I have found at the grocery store. Product of India. I looked at the ingredients. Because have you noticed a lot of times it'll say doesn't include this and then you look at the ingredients and it does have it in it. They lie to us a lot on the label. So I always look to see the ingredient list and the uh, ingredients are honey. And then uh, we usually use half and half in our coffee, but um, we one of the brands that we like half and half to be is the Shamrock Farms brand. And I saw this milk here, vanilla milk. And I thought, that sounds really good just to drink anyway, but I wanted to try it in my coffee. <laughs> I got my garlic and herb spaghetti sauce that I always get there. I try to pick this up every time I go because I use it in ravioli, spaghetti, lasagna. Um, I'm going to be making pizza from scratch here soon. I wanted to try doing that. And um, so I want to use this for that. I also have a couple different stews that I put this in. So, I mean, I, this is a big product in our house. We really love the flavor of it. And every time I try other spaghetti sauce, I go back to this one. <laughs> I just love it. I got some Star Kissed tuna and then I always check the checkout aisle like the the end caps and the, the little areas around the checkouts to see if there's anything um, worth getting or trying oh whoops I got this big sky cotton candy mints I love having mints in my purse but I just noticed it says sugar-free I really try to avoid, what do you call those, fake sugars? And this has sucralose in it. I don't know, is sucralose bad? I'll have to look that up. If it is bad, I'll just pour them out and keep the container and put mints in there. But um, how cute though, right? And then I found these, these are new. Strawberry and cream Tic Tacs. And that is everything that I got at the Dollar Tree today. So I only spent $32, I think, 
which is really good considering things are $1.25 now. Um, when things were a dollar, I used to spend a lot more than that. A lot more. So, <laughs> I'm, I'm proud of myself that I don't buy all this stuff I don't need anymore like I used to. But, let me know if you, I'm curious with the Dollar Tree Plus, if you have one, how long you've had them. All right, thank you so much for watching. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day or night. I love you. Bye.